Hi guys, if you have ever wanted to boost FPS or unlock higher resolution in your PC games, increasing your VRAM might help. But here is the thing, a lot of people are doing it wrong and end up messing up their PC. So in this video, let's clear up all the confusions and show you the right and safe way to increase VRAMs in Windows 10 or Windows 11. What is the VRAM or video memory? It's actually the memory used by your GPU or graphics processing unit for processing better graphics in terms of display resolution or FPS. Now, if you are using a dedicated graphics card, for example a 4GB NVIDIA GTX or RTX card or a 8GB AMD card, that means the video memory is already fixed to 4GB or 8GB. You can't increase it. But if you are using a normal integrated GPU like the Intel HD graphics that comes by default with your CPU, it utilizes a portion of your computer's RAM as the VRAM or video memory, so you can easily increase or decrease it. So, I will first show the easiest way to do that using registry editor and then I will tell the drawbacks of this method and then I will show you the best method using BIOS. So, the method number one using registry editor. So, first of all, right click on the desktop, then open display settings. Now, uh, open advanced display. Then click on display adaptive properties. Here you can see the dedicated video memory is too less. So we are going to increase it. Go to system, then open about, and you can see the installed RAM is 12 GB. So we have 12 GB RAM installed on our system. This is very important. I will show you why. So let's open device manager to see which graphics card we are using NVIDIA, Intel, or uh, AMD. So Go to display adapters and you can see intel graphics card and uh, this is integrated graphics card i'm not using any dedicated graphics so now open registry editor and here expand h key local machine and then expand software and as i am using intel graphics card i will select intel and then right click then new then key if the name gmm make sure all are capital hit enter keep it selected then right click on the blank space, click on new dword 32 bit value and now this is very important, type dedicated segment size, there is no space in between and make sure DSS are capital and rest are small. So now select this right click and modify, make sure hexadecimal is selected. Now this value data is very important as I have already shown you, I am using 12 GB RAM so I need to multiply 12 with 128 this is constant for any ram size sorry 128 and uh, now you can see the result 1536 i need to put 1536 over here make sure this comma this is not uh, put over here you just need to put 1536 now suppose you are using uh, 8 gb uh, ram on your system so 8 multiplied by 128 that comes to be 1024 so you need to put 1024 here anyway now once you put that you need to restart your computer once your computer is restart let's go to the display settings then advanced display then display adapters and you can see the dedicated video memory has been increased so now you might ask why this is 512 MB as you can see I am using a HDMI to USB converter for recording this video I think for this uh, display adapter this is the maximum size allocated. Now, by this method, you are not actually increasing the VRAM. Rather, you are creating a binary value to make your computer believe that it's having more VRAM. It's sometimes helpful in bypassing some restriction in FPS or resolution in some games. So now the second method. To navigate to the BIOS menu, you need to restart your computer and repeatedly press the BIOS key. It may be delete button, F12, F2 or escape button depending on which brand you are using. So just make a google search. Once you are inside BIOS section, find advanced, chipset or Nordbridge configuration. So as you can see I am having chipset, so go to chipset, then system agent, then go to graphics configuration. Now find any of these three options showing on the screen. As you can see I am having DVMT free allocated, so select this and let us set it to maximum. Ideally, it should be 1536 MB as we have already calculated, but my processor support maximum 1024 MB. So let us select that. Then DVMT total graphics memory. 
let us select it to maximum then press the F10 button on the keyboard then click on yes to save the configuration now your computer will restart once it restarts successfully now you try to play some games and I am confident enough that you will find a significant improvement in the FPS and as well as unlock some resolutions in some games. So this was the complete video. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you in the next video till then. Stay safe.